Hi, my name is Katie and welcome or welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I want to talk to you about the novel Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. This story follows a lesbian relationship. The couple meet in Vegas and get married. Um, and they wake up the next morning and that is when the book begins. They wake up and we follow um, Grace, one of the couple members, <laughs> and uh, we follow her kind of coming to terms with like, wait a minute, I'm married and who am I married to? Who is this person? How did I meet them? What happened last night? Um, because they have been under the influence of alcohol at the time of the wedding. And it basically follows their relationship as they kind of get to know each other um, and kind of get to understand who each other are. Um, and we follow Grace's perspective the whole way through the book. And Grace is somebody who has just graduated with a doctorate, I believe, in astronomy. And so she's extremely intelligent, extremely intelligent. And she's like embarking on the job market and just now starting to try and find work and trying to figure out what does she want to do with her life? What does she want to, who does she want to be? What influence does she want to have on the world? Um, and so it's a kind of coming of age narrative as well as being a romance story. Um, and it was just so pure and wholesome and lovely. Um, and I really feel like Morgan Rogers has an absolutely beautiful writing style. Like the descriptions are just so nice. So in my opinion, this is a slow paced and quite a slow burn romance. Like there's, it is kind of insta love in that they meet and they fall for each other even though they are under the influence of alcohol. Um, and then it's like them, but their actual relationship as it progresses and grows is very slow burn. Um, and so I'd recommend this for you if you really enjoy slow burn romance, if you really like slow pace of, of books, that appeals to me, I enjoy that, but I know that's not for everybody. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. So as I say, this is a kind of coming of age narrative in the sense that we're following Grace trying to figure out her place in the world. And um, what I will say is that Grace, as she's trying to figure out this place, a lot of what is influencing her are outside factors in the sense that she experiences a lot of parental pressure um, and she also experiences racial and homophobic microaggressions as she is searching for a job. So Grace has on her CV that she's a member of, I think it's black astronomy um, and LGBT groups at university. Um, and she experiences a negative reaction to that as she's in the going to try and find work um, and so there are some like quite heavier themes in the sense of, of those coming through as well and it's about how she copes in the face of um, that bigotry and um, I don't know a lot about that field but I would imagine there is commentary in there about the reality of being in that field as a black or LGBTQ person. One of the things that I really loved about it is that our main character is a little bit older. So um, she's 29, I believe, um, and I'm 27. And I often don't feel like you see people in that stage of coming of age at that age. It's often focused on people in high school coming of age uh, narratives. And I like that the protagonist is older. Um, and I also found a lot of it quite relatable as somebody who's come out of university myself and is trying to find my place in the world. Obviously, um, I haven't experienced some of the things that Grace experiences as she looks for a job, but I think that kind of confused feeling, that kind of um, disorientation that you experience when you graduate and you're trying to figure out what do I want to do with this qualification? Sometimes what you think you could do in reality doesn't exist or um, sometimes the reality of it isn't what you think it's going to be. And those feelings I connected with personally, um, which was quite interesting. I wasn't expecting to see that reflected um, in the fiction. I also love the way that Morgan Rogers captures relationships. The parts where Grace and Yuki, uh, her wife, are together and they're just talking about their own passions and their own interests. I found that so beautiful. Like, oh, it was just like, all the love hearts exploding in my heart. It was just so sweet and lovely. Um, and I really, really liked those moments. But I also found that um, Grace's relationship with her parents is captured really interestingly. And some of this kind of friction between wanting to be an adult, still being in some senses considered a child, um, and 
just the pressures that you sometimes feel from parental influences, the way that came through in the fiction was just so well captured. I was really, really impressed by that. And I also loved the therapy rep in this. There is such a positive therapy rep in this book. And um, just that was just perfect for me. That was like the cherry on top of an already perfect cake. It was so good. There is quite a lot of references to mental illness. Um, and I thought personally that that was well done and uh, well written. And I was really impressed by that. Um, the one thing that kind of left me wanting, I guess, is I just wanted more from the friendships that Grace has and that Yuki have. And I wanted to just see all those characters just like living a full life. Like I wanted to kind of experience more like cool moments with them. There are some really nice moments in the book but I just wanted more of that and so at the end I kind of was left thinking so a sequel? Are we going to have a sequel? I would love to see a sequel to this novel. I think it's one that could really lend itself well to a sequel and it's very rare that I say that so you know that's really high praise in my opinion. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are definite content warnings for this book. I know that um, the author has shared them on their own website, um, but I will put them also down below. I'll put a link to that um, site down below. And yeah, I would definitely recommend this for you if you love slow burn romance, if you love um, LGBTQ fiction, um, and if you like, like, positive and well done mental illness representation in your books and I would wholeheartedly recommend it. So let me know if you've read this yourself, what you thought of it, if you loved it as much as I did um, and yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.